My name is Mark Clampin and I'm the Observatory Project Scientist for the James Webb Space Telescope. So this is a 20th scale model of the telescope and gives you a basic idea of how this telescope looks and how um, it appears very different from your traditional um, telescope. So the primary mirror for this telescope is open and it's actually made up of 18 individual segments and this is because we have to actually deploy this telescope after launch and everything on this um, part of the telescope operates at cryogenic temperatures which means it's running at about 40 Kelvin. The way we get this to 40 Kelvin is by passively cooling it and the way we do that is using this big sunshield here this is um, going to be five uh, layers of uh, Kapton membrane, each one about the size of a uh, tennis court. The other main difference uh, of this telescope to say uh, Hubble, for instance, is that this telescope will be launched into a orbit at the second Lagrange point. By putting it out there, it's uh, about a million miles from Earth. It uh, allows the telescope to cool down, so it's going to be very thermally stable. And it also means we can do 24-7 science operations, which means we maximize our efficiency. Each of the mirror segments is made of beryllium, and we chose beryllium because it's very thermally stable at the operating temperatures that we plan to run at. And so at the image quality of our telescope won't change significantly uh, with small changes in temperature of the mirrors. Okay, so this is uh, the Building 29 clean room at the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center and in this clean room we will be integrating and assembling most of the telescope and the instruments for the James Webb Space Telescope. Right now we're just starting to take delivery of key elements of the program and right now in the clean room you can see several um, interesting pieces of hardware. We have the uh, in integrated science instrument module structure which is the uh, carbon epoxy structure that will hold all of the four flight instruments. And that hardware has just finished undergoing all of its tests and is now ready for the flight instruments to uh, be delivered and integrated into that structure. We also have uh, our first um, primary mirror segment, which is a flight spare. And that mirror um, is a full scale um, mirror segment it's going to be a flight spare, but it's still being gold coated and polished to the required um, accuracy for the telescope. And that will be used as a pathfinder as we put together all of our ground testing programs and then ultimately um, go to the Johnson Space Flight Center for our final end to end test program. We also have a partially finished uh, spare secondary mirror in this um, facility right now. And towards the back, we are currently uh, testing engineering units for each of the flight instruments and those those instruments are being used to do various fit checks electronic testing and testing of the uh, test hardware that will be used to validate the flight instruments and then finally uh, one other piece of hardware that we have in there that's very interesting and demonstrates another important point in this program which is to validate um, model analysis with real hardware test is something we call the BESTA and it's, that stands for backplane um, test article. And this is a three segment part of the backplane that supports the primary mirror. And it was built to actually verify that our models of the backplane actually correspond to how it behaves in reality. Over here on the left, you can see the um, OSIM, which is going to be the structure that we use to test the integrated uh, science instrument module once we put all the instruments into the science instrument structure and put all the radiators and electronics boxes on we will take it to the SES chamber and do a full-scale cryo um, optical test using this OSIM as a kind of telescope simulator. So over the next uh, four, four or so years we'll be integrating the whole of the t telescope here in the clean room and at the completion of that uh, phase of the program We'll then be able to ship it down to the Johnson Space Flight Center where we can do a complete end-to-end -end cold cryo-optical test of the um, telescope. As we complete that test, we'll be ready to ship the telescope out to Space Park at Redondo Beach to the North at Grumman facility where they will integrate the final spacecraft and telescope together ready for launch from uh, uh, Narayan 5 at Karoo.